So okay, so I've uh had my home theater for about three months or so, and um, I was gonna go over just a few things I learned in the last three months. Um, so the f first important thing is seating. Um, I my living room is fairly small, so what I've done for seating is essentially. The love seat is there, that seat's two. The main couch is there, that seat's three. And then what I did was I added two ottomans. So there's one ottoman there and one ottoman right there. So that gives you seating for seven in a pretty small room. Now it's also to maximize the space. You know, I've pretty much put, um, hey kitty. They are pretty much, yeah, just push the couch forward a little bit. And I put a magazine stand in the back, so um, Time Magazine, Sound Division, Home Theater Magazine, you know, all that good stuff. So yeah, so um, yeah, that's the, pretty much the seating issue. Now, as far as the um, the connections, uh, a lot of people have sent me messages asking about collect the connections, so I'm going to go back and just go over them in detail. Alright, so back here, these are all of the devices that power the home theater. I'm going to go over them in detail how they're connected. But first and foremost, this is the remote, the universal touch remote. This, this is the brain for the entire system. Uh, you see, watch Blu-ray, watch TV, play PS3, play Sonos, play Xbox 360, use the computer, listen to HD radio, listen to a disc. Those are my primary commands. Um, and the way that it controls everything back here, this is the closet behind the room. The projector shines out through there into the main viewing room. But the way it connects it, these two things right here. This is the RF extender. This is the PS3 extender. So what happens is when I select the command from this, it shoots the signal over radio frequency to this room. And then this picks it up. And then this is a powerful IR transmitter. So this back here will send a signal to the projector or all the other, all of the other devices down there. So that and then the same thing for the PS3. This PS3, this when I hit play PS3, it'll send the Bluetooth signal back here for this to pick up. I'm sorry, it'll send the RF signal for this to pick up. This will pick it up and then shoot out the Bluetooth signal for the PS3 down there to pick up. So that's that's pretty much how that works. So and as far as the connections go, the Apple BDP83, the PS3, the Xbox 360, the Sonos Music Player, and the Dish Network HD DVR, they are all connected to this. This is the Denon AVR 40, 4310, and they're all connected to this, this receiver. Now, every one of the devices I just mentioned is connected via HDMI, except for the Sonos. The Sonos, I use the, um, the, the analog connections to, to this for, for stereo output. So that's how the connections are back here. And then this, this, this uh, receiver has two outputs, so it shoots the two HDMI outputs out. Now I have one from the receiver coming in here into the back of the projector, and I have one from the, directly from the computer. That's my, um, that's my computer right there. So, the, um, so that way, if I want, I can use the computer without even turning on the receiver. I mean, I never do, but it's possible. So, yeah, so that's how it's connected. This takes the HDMI signal 1080p, shoots it out through this hole onto the screen out in the front. So that's uh, having all your gear in one place out of sight. That's another way to to help, you know, help maintain in the theater in a small space. All right, all right. Another thing about small spaces is that odds are you're probably going to want to forego um, any deep digging into the walls now me me I, I can dig into the walls because this is, a, this is a house I own but for those of you like in, in, for this instance on the other side of this wall is pure brick so there's no there's no gap between the drywall so for those solutions we have to if you have to make wire runs then you could do what I did was purchase this molding right here this is molding that goes right above the floorboard and you run the run the wires in here Drill a hole right there and pop the speaker wire out and then put it into the back of the speaker. Alright, now that's uh it's very effective. 
I did it for all three of the front speakers. And you see, it gives a clean look. You can't see the wires where they run or anything like that. So, yeah. And um, another very important thing for small spaces, you definitely want to get a motorized screen. Now, you do not want to have a big projection screen hanging on your wall 24-7. It will overtake the room completely. So, what you want is just a nice, decent roll-down screen so it can roll up when you're not using it, and then that's that. So, I'll just give a quick, a quick, quick demo of how you can operate the system without the screen and then just pop down the screen if you want some quick viewing. All right, so this is just a, a quick example of how you can, you know, use a space. You know, you don't need a six million square foot, you know, area to have a decent home theater, decent just audio experience. So, um, whatever music application you use, I use a Sonos um, digital music player. So I just control it with the iPhone. Um, you can use, I don't know if you use Roku, Roku, Logitech, Squeezebox, whatever. So I just hit play and um, it'll start the music. So you know, you have people here, you know, seven people chilling. If you were born in the 80s, you know this song, by the way. Alright, anyway, so yeah, that's audio. So, yeah, you know, if you have some people over and you want to put on a song, you just do that. And, you know, and then if you guys are ready to watch a movie, again, you know, you just, however you control it, I use the touch remote, but you hit watch a blurry on the remote. And then this is where the space saving thing comes in. The motorized screen will, uh, will, will, will pop down. And all the gear in the back will turn on. You know, and then and as far as viewing angles go, viewing angles are, um, are pretty good. See, there you have it.